guys, um, Josh from Standard Films again, and this week I've got another post-production tutorial for you. So today we're going to be um, looking at Final Cut Pro 10, or Final Cut Pro X, whatever you want to call it. Um, last week we did After Effects, and I thought this week I'll show you something a little bit more basic, but far more useful if you're just getting into video and you just wanted to cut your clips together and you know, whack some music with them. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so this is Final Cut Pro in uh, Final Cut Pro 10, sorry, we're in now. So this is your timeline down here. I'll give you a quick kind of run through of the interface and then we'll jump into some basic um, commands and stuff like that. So this is your timeline, and I'm sure you've seen one of these before, the same as many a video editor. Um, this is your video main kind of timeline, so all your videos will do it on here. All your audio will go below that, and above that you can have all sorts of sliders and whatnot. Okay, so up here you've got your um, clip library or um, event library, as Apple have called it. So what you'll do is you'll have a, an event on the side. For example, we have Matto music video here. So that here's where all your clips will be when you import them in. And then once you decide to pull a clip in, for example, if you just take this one, you'll drag it down or however you want to do it. Or you can select a region on here like that and then drag that selected region down. But um, once you're down here, um, this is what you're going to see, so you've got your audio waveforms here, you can detach them just by right clicking it, like that, so that's your detached audio, and um, from here we'll go through a basic kind of edit if you like, um, A, if you press A on your keyboard that is your basic kind of mouse tool that will allow you to skim up and down, B is blade, the same as Final Cut 7, so that allows you to cut bits of clip up um, and position them all over the place, P is placement, uh, the placement tool, so for example, if you cut a piece of clip like that, now automatically it would slide to the end because that's how Final Cut Pro 10 works, but if you press P, change your placement tool, and you can drag it anywhere you like, and it'll create this gap thing here, which just fills the blank space. It's kind of like a slug in Final Cut 7. Um, so that's that. Let's go on to um, some colors and stuff that come in with Final Cut 10. So this is your inspector up here. Up here you've got all sorts of your colour, you've got transform, you've got stuff like your scale, um, cropping, stabilisation if you choose to use it, although it's a little bit crap. Um, rolling shutter, um, reducer, rare, rare, compositing modes, all that lovely stuff. So the first thing I would normally do is I'd go onto this little arrow here. This takes you into your colour adjustments. So first you've got exposure on the first tab, I always do first, and you can move your lows mids, highs, very kind of self-explanatory, and then in here you've got your saturation, so lows, mids, and highs again. It's a very simple interface, very clean, and you've got a master um, slider over here which will do all of them. And then colours, so you've got four here, your global shadows, mid-tones, and highlights, and you can play around with that as you please. I'm just going to reset that because it's rubbish. Okay, it's not reset, but anyway. Um, then you come down here, this is your effects um, panel, and here you've got all your video effects, so if you can scroll down you've got a ton of them, you've got looks, you've got stuff like crop and feather, um, what else have we got? We've got some distortion effects like um, flashing, bad TV, prisms are really cool one I use quite a lot, it's somewhere around here, it's kind of like an RGB split style effect, so you've got tons of them in there, and literally to apply them you just drag them straight onto the clip and let go and that'll apply and you can play around with all your options up here. Then you've got audio adjustments, so you've got stuff like distortion, echo, EQ levels and all the rest of it. And this is all very helpful, it's just nice to have a visual kind of nice place to have them all um, arranged and you can just drag them on to the audio clip just the same. Um, if you click on this little gadget looking thing here, this will bring up your background tasks because Final Cut, 7, uh, Final Cut 10 sorry, does a lot of stuff in the background. So you can see at the minute it's rendering in the background this clip I've brought down and you can, you can either pause it or you can cancel it or whatever you want to do and you can just restart it. But you've got a ton of stuff you can do there. If it's going slow for some reason, always just check in there because a lot of the time it will be doing something that you can't ask it to do. Um, this is your, your viewer window, you only get one as opposed to two in Final Cut 7. Then you've got um, your wireframe here, you can mix around with things. Um, got the crop tool, pretty self-explanatory really. Um, this, which I've never used, 
although I can see it skews things. I've never used that in my life. Um, but yeah, that was a basic kind of overrun, if you like, of Final Cut 10. Um, I will be doing some more in-depth stuff at some point, but that was just to um, give you guys who maybe just got it or are looking to get it a brief introduction of how the program looks. It is very nice to use once you get used to it. If you're just moving from 7 up to 10, um, it's a bit of a transition. It takes some getting used to. But once you do it, it's a really, really powerful tool, despite looking like an upgraded iMovie. I know a lot of people have been slating um, 10 just because, I don't know, it's just, you know, it's just a better version of iMovie. It really isn't. You just need to know how to use it properly. So, um, yeah, that was Josh from Santa Films on Final Cut 10, and we'll be doing some more um, advanced stuff at another point. So, if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you go and do the button. Be... So, I don't even know where it is, somewhere around here. Um, any other questions, leave them in the comments below or send us a message. And see you soon.